Sports. And then there was one. Ottawa Glendorf, the only remaining undefeated team in the WBL, they almost Lima Senior at the Supreme Court with their unblemished record on the line. Over the last four years, it has been Lima Senior on top. Ottawa Glendorf looking for their first win since 2013. First quarter, Lima Senior gaining the upper hand. Yachtel Cologne pulls for three. Spartans up by two. The Titans answer. Bryce Schrader fires for three, and he gets the home bounce. That puts OG up eight to seven. Spartans running, though. BJ Miller taking on a defender and flipping it in. He led Lima Senior with 24 points. OG not letting things slip away. Owen Hegel with the gorgeous. A step back, making room for the jumper, and we have a tie ball game. Lima Senior responds with excellent ball movement. It leads to Jermaine Daniel getting the open layup, and just like that, the Spartans are back up four to the second quarter. Jay Kaufman starts to put the team on his back, going baseline for the finish. Kaufman drops 32, and Ottawa Glendorf remains undefeated, beating Lima Senior 81 to 73. LCC and Eli to meet for the second time this season. The Bulldogs winning the first match between the two. First quarter, Matthew Sakala with the first field goal of the game. LCC CC with the early lead. Elida responds quickly as Daniel Unruh hits the turnaround jumper. It's all tied up at the field house. Now Unruh decides to share the wealth. Isaac McAdams gets it to go. Bulldogs in front and they go ahead and close. Daniel Unruh scores a game high 24. Elida wins 48 to 40. Shawnee's streak of nine wins in a row came to an end last night. They look to bounce back against Wayne Trace. Third quarter, Shawnee trailing by 17, but here they come. Tyson Elwer gets the block. He had seven on the night. Sheridan O'Neill gathers it and goes ahead and takes at home. Shawnee ends the quarter on an 18-3 run. Defense showing up late in the game. Johnny Caprella with the steal. The layup ties things at 59 apiece. More defense off of another steal. Caprella ends up with it. Throws in a little Euro step and finishes. Tied again at 61s. Wayne Trace trying to stop the momentum. Josh Kuhn does just that, but the Indians were on fire. Caprella this time from beyond the arc. He pours in 40 tonight. Shawnee completes the comeback, winning 78-69. In the PCL, Kaleida looking for a ninth straight win, hosting Columbus Grove. Fourth quarter, Grant Loddick finds Josh Clousing in the corner. He launches the tray. Kaleida leads 48 to 40. Grove desperate to keep things within reach. Blake Reynolds hits the B button and finishes with the lay-in, but it's not enough. Trevor Lambert delivers to Luke Earhart, the freshman with the hoop and the harm. Dilly dilly, Kaleida wins their ninth straight, 58 to 49. Girls Hoops Minster is the number one team in the state. They host Audeville, who comes in at number three. Second quarter Minster finishes strong Kendra Thien with the hoop and the harm and then moments later Xavier commit Courtney Pranger goes to work inside Wildcats lead by seven at the break here comes Ottaville Cassandra Kemper showing off her moves the big green now within five then Casey Knippen dribbling in and pulling up Ottaville inching closer it's back and forth all afternoon but in the end it's Minster Thien finishing underneath Minster hands Ottaville their first loss of the season Wildcats win 55 to 54 the BVC travels into the NWCC, USV hosting Arlington. Late second quarter, Lindsey Dodds dribbles into the lane and hits the jumper. That gives Arlington a 21-point advantage. To the third, Jenna Pebble comes up with the steal. She goes ahead and takes care of business on the other end, and the Red Devil stayed hot. Dodds, this time from deep, she scores 24 on the day, leading Arlington to a 74-34 win. Switching over to the mats, Van Buren hosting their 40th annual invite. We start at 160 pounds. Devontae Davis of Corey Rawson flips Cooper Chung of Delphus Jeff Jefferson, he locks him up with no chance of escape. Davis with the pin for the win. But Jefferson did have success elsewhere. John Brooks gets the pin at 126 pounds, beating John Margraff of Seneca East to 132 pounds. OG's Evan Ellerbrock flips his opponent just enough to lock him up. Ellerbrock holds his ground for the eventual pin. He took fifth in the weight class. Staying at 132, Liberty Benton's Drew Baker puts Daniel White of Corey Rawson on his back, getting some near fall points. However, White returns the favor, flipping Baker for the two point reversal. These two go the distance. Baker getting the win for LB 11 to 2. Then at 195, Otto Glendorf's Matt Schmersel flings his Riverdale opponent to the mat. Good enough for two points there. The Titan wins the match 7 to 3. OG is your top area finisher, placing fourth with 128 points. College Hoops, the women at ONU are riding a 15-game winning streak. Opening minutes, ONU's newest all-time leading scorer, Amy Bullmore, gets the hook shot to drop, tying the game early. Later, she goes to work again, getting this one to go. She keeps things tied up for the Polar Bears. From there, Abby Weeks makes her way into 
the scoring column, hitting the turnaround, Jay. ONU takes it 59 to 43. The women at UNOH are looking to snap a three game skid. They host Concordia. First quarter, Emily Patton turns in the paint, flips it up, and gets it to roll on home. Racers within one. Patton staying on the attack, driving for the finish. Racers now taking the lead. A little later, Bath grad Danielle Van Dyne releases the floater, and it rattles in. She led UNOH with 16 points, but it's in a losing effort as the racers fall 73 to 61. The men at UNOH also tangled with the Cardinals at the garage. Second half, good ball movement, and Olsby Mercer fires. The freshman gives UNOH a 12-point lead. Racers keeping their foot on the gas as Fairlong grad Nathan Lessing gets the teardrop in the lane, 57 to 41 in favor of the home team, and they go ahead and close. Willis Mackey Jr. flexing his muscles down low. UNOH wins 84 to 64. OSU Rhodes also in action today. The men try to get a win over OU Zanesville. First half, Elijah Fabian puts the pass on the money to Logan Mitchell, pulling Rhodes within eight. Later, Fabian dishing again, this time to Brandon Hansen in the corner for three. That brings the Bears within six, and Fabian goes ahead and puts some points on the board. Here, laying it in on the break, he had a team high of 19. Bears win 71 to 65. Big 10 ball, Ohio State and Minnesota playing at the Garden. First half, Caleb Wesson stroking one from downtown. His fourth triple of his career puts Ohio State on top 26-22. Second half, Wesson dishing to Cam Williams. 15 points and eight boards for the freshman Wesson. Now it's Kata Bates Diop collecting the offensive board and finishing 17 points and 12 boards for his double-double. Buckeyes win 67 to 49. My alma mater is ranked third in the country. Elida's finest, Dakota Mathias hitting the road to Iowa. First half, Boilermakers rolling. Mathias buries the triple, making it 40 to 16 Purdue. Then in the second half, he keeps the high end, knocking down another three. He finishes the day with 12 points on four threes. He also dishes out five assists, including one here. Purdue buries 23s on their way to an 87-64 win. And right now, Purdue just looks unstoppable. Well, what about Ohio State? I know she had to put that in there. My alma mater. Yeah. I know. Well, <laughs> it's both, nice to see Dakota yeah. doing great, And though. both unbeaten in the Big Ten. So. That's pretty cool. That'll be good when they hit each they other will. again, won't it? All right. Thanks very much, Sean.